Hey everyone, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, coming at you today with another collab. This one is called Homeschooling on a Budget Series, an open collab that's being hosted by Ingrid over at Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. This collaboration is about doing homeschool on a budget, and it'll mean different things to different people. Um, this is an open collaboration, so if you'd wish to join in, just um, add your video to the playlist that I will put in my description box and also um, add the link to Ingrid's um, channel also and I will also have Ingrid's channel um, in my description box. But anyways, my name is Kim. I'm the Homeschooling Grammy. Welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. I like to do collab videos. They're actually one of my favorite things to do, but I also do um, homeschooling reviews on curriculum, day in the life, uh, book hauls, library hauls, all kinds of good stuff. Um, I like to do a little bit of everything. So anyway, if you're ready to see how I saved a little bit of money in my language arts, stick around. Great. So what I decided to do for this coming school year to try to save us a little bit of money and help our homeschooling budget a little bit is I'm going to combine our spelling with our writing curriculum. So our writing curriculum, usually I, I bought separately anyways for kindergarten, but she's really doing really well with her printing. I mean, she has super neat printing for a child her age, so I don't feel it is necessary for her to do something above and beyond um, what she's going to get practice in, in every day. And we are already big Matthew C. lovers, and I saw the spelling you see, um, and I thought this might work really well for her. Um, I was able to get it used, so that was good. So anyways, I'm going to take a look and show you inside what we will have going on. So, anyways, um, it's, a, an, it's a listen and write program pretty much. Um, but these are going to be the lessons that are covered. It's going to be letter formation, introduction to dictation, uh, for focusing on short I, short A and short I, um, reading words, the review of A, I, and O, um, more review, focus on short U, focus, focus on short E, and then there will be introduction to blends, beginning blends, um, review of beginning blends and short vowels, digraphs, ending blends. So it covers a whole lot of stuff. So let me show you here some more. So here are the books and the different levels that you can purchase. Um, and these are the sequence and placement guidelines. So we're doing level A, which is the listen and write series, but there's also um, all the way up to G. So if we like this, we may very well end up going all the way through. Now I've heard some good things about it. Like I said, I've not used it yet myself. Um, we're pretty excited to start it, um, hoping that we will love it as much as we love Matthew C. So if we go through here, um, it gives you an idea. Um, the overview, listen and write is designed to move students from the pre-literate stage to the phonetic stage of spelling and it is suitable for young students who are just beginning to learn letter sound correspondence. This level focuses on lowercase formation, consonants, and short vowels. So there's 36 lessons um, and each is divided into five parts, A through E. A through e. Um, each daily worksheet is one page and is designed to be completed in about 10 minutes. So that is perfect. 10 minutes. You know, for a six-year-old, that's more than enough time to be spending on spelling and writing, I do believe. Um, and then for writing skills, in the opening lessons, correct pencil grip is stressed. Students should be should use a tripod grip, holding the pencil between the thumb and the index finger as the pencil rests on the middle finger. The tripod grip establishes muscle memory and facilitates rapid writing, which in turn creates fluency. So it gives her some writing tips, which, like I said, she doesn't really need per se, and she's going to get spelling at the same time. So to me, that is a win-win. 
so there's also a daily dictation list um, and it's and these words have been chosen to correspond with the focus of each of the lessons. So like you see here, cat, dad, gas. So dictation right through here. Gives you ones for each lesson. So and there's several pages. As you see, it gets harder as she goes along words do. And then there's also a general dictation. So it starts with like words with three letters, um, like short A, short E, short I. And then it moves on to like short O and short U. Then it has like your beginning blends, your digraphs, your ending blends. And it goes all the way over to your five letter words. So, you know, by the time she finishes this, um, she'll be doing some pretty good spelling, hopefully, if this works as well as I'm hoping. And there's like double consonant endings, five letter words with digraphs, and then it even has a glossary in the back, which is nice. So anyway, so along with the instructor's handbook, you also get this guide to handwriting and it's got like a laminate feel to it so it would be really good I mean if your child isn't already a good printer this would be perfect to use with a dry erase and to be able to practice over and over again which is really good save you some money on some paper for sure and it also comes with this Listen and Write sticker pack. Um, and these stickers can be used for motivation to allow your student to choose a sticker after completing a page as a reward. It can be used for spelling practice. Have your child choose a sticker and spell a word that goes with the picture. Um, remember to select the words from the general dictation list only. Targeted practice. If your student is having difficulty with a particular word or sound, select stickers that will provide extra reinforcement in practice. And as an extension activity, have your student choose a word from a completed page. Then see if he or she can find a sticker for a word that has the same beginning sound, vowel sound, or ending sound. However you choose to use these stickers, we are confident that you and your student will enjoy using them while working through Listen and Write. So here are the stickers. They're super cute. There's all kinds of stickers. And I don't know about you all, but give my granddaughter some stickers and we are a happy girl. So. These are super fun. So also, what came with this is the student workbook. Um, and this looks great, actually. Gives you a to the instructor type thing in the beginning. And I'll let you go ahead and take a look. like. Um, focus letter formation and consonant sounds. It has a checklist at the top. Do they use the correct pencil grip? Follow the handwriting guide? Use lowercase letters? And say the sound as you write it. So the first one is trace and write the letters. So I mean like for her in the beginning this is definitely going to be super easy for her but that's okay. I don't mind it sometimes being a little bit easy because I'm all about building confidence. Um, we can always move quickly. We don't have to stay um, doing the same thing over and over again. And she can do as many pages as she wants to do when it's easy. So then you move on to listen to your teacher say the word, trace and write it. So as you see, at first they trace 
the word and then down here they you know fill in the missing consonants to write the word so I'll move ahead a little bit to give you an idea how it moves along so let's see we'll move to like we're still writing letters of the alphabet so let's see let's go even further so when we get to lesson seven for instance Again, trace and write the letters, write the words your teachers say, read the words together when you are finished. So there will be words to be read to your student from the teacher's manual, and I will go ahead and show that to you. So here we go. So here's lesson seven. Reading or, yeah, reading the words back. Beginning in lesson seven, the student should read each word back after dictation. When a student sounds out a word letter by letter, in order to read it back, he is practicing the skill of decoding. Decoding is completely different, is a completely different neurological task than encoding, and the brain must be able to do both. When students understand that they have to read the words back at the end of dictation, they think about each word more carefully. If we do not ask students to do this, they will not process the words in the same careful way. Beginning readers may struggle to read words back. Read the words together until your student feels comfortable doing it alone. The worksheets continue to review both short A and short I. So as you see, um, you know, it just keeps moving forward. Um, And here are, so you, I'll bring up lesson 7a as far as the dictation list. So you go ahead and this is your dictation list, 7a. So it's lap, rib, rib, <laughs> rim, yak, fig, kit, hid, pat, and lid. So those would be the words that you would be doing for dictation. So as you see here, so 7a would be like say you do Monday through Friday. 7A would be Monday, 7B would be Tuesday, 7C would be Wednesday, and so forth and so on. So I'll go ahead and move even further in, like way into the book, and we'll get an idea of what kind of words that we're going to be doing. So here you see on lesson 23A, focus review of beginning blends and short vowels. Write the words your teacher says and write the vowel in the shaded box, then read the words together. So I'm going to go ahead and do lesson 23A. And I'll give you an idea of what kind of words we're going to be doing. So lesson 23A, the words are drag, grub, clog, glum, prep, bran, clip, glad, grin, and step. I'm sorry, my TV is a little bit loud. I hope that's not interfering. My granddaughter's watching a movie in there. But anyways, um, so these are the words for lesson 23A. And as you see here, they're spelling the word completely by themselves. And actually, um, the vowel goes into the shaded area. And that's how um, they learn to spell those words. And then by the time you get to the very end of this um, curriculum, this is five letter words with no vowel boxes shaded. So now the kids are actually, or your students are actually spelling the words without the help of the vowel being in the, um, you know, the, the place where the vowel goes in the word. In other words, they don't know where the vowel goes unless they've learned how to actually spell the word themselves. But here we go. Here are the words for Lesson 36A. Broth, clump, skill, shack, chess, thank, twist, gruff, champ, and shift. So as you can see, tons of handwriting practice or printing practice along with learning how to spell at the same time. Um, for her, she really does well on anything that you know, she can see it and she can say it and she can do it. And um, that's how she learns best through multiple sensory uh, approaches. So there you have it. 
how I'm going to combine my spelling and my writing for this uh, curriculum. Okay, everybody, that's a wrap of what I'm going to be using for my homeschooling on a budget for language arts. And yeah, I still have my cheat sheet here because dang, I'm just tired <laughs> and I can't remember anything. So anyways, thanks so much for joining us. Um, make sure that you check out the playlist down below in the description box and check out Ingrid's channel at Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. Her channel is really awesome. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, so anyways, I will talk to you soon. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see me do more bloopers in future videos. Dr.